So guys, um, as you know, I had this on eBay and I started off at one pence and it reached 470 quid. Um, but the winning bidder fucked about and said his mate's van broke down, then he said he might be getting me redundant. So I just cancelled the order. Um, and it looks like I'm going to be keeping it a bit longer. So what I've done now is I've brought down some cleaning stuff. This is like uh, aluminium cleaner and some degreaser. And I've also managed to source a set of pipes, uh, which are brilliant. These are fucking superb and they'll fit a link pipe as well. So, it looks like the 400 is staying a bit longer. Um, so like I say, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take all the panels off today, I'm gonna take the headlight off, <coughs> I'm gonna take the radiator off, the exhaust off, the seat, the wiring loom, stuff like that. I'm gonna take it all off today. I'm gonna clean as much of the frame as I can, the swinging arm, the wheels, uh, and then I'll start inspecting stuff and putting it back together because this time I'm determined to get this fucker going. Um, and the other thing is, you know, if it reaches 450 quid in that state, at starting it off at a penny, then I should get fucking a lot more than that if it's a lot cleaner and it's running. Um, so the, the main thing is, like I say, with that can, with, uh, with that um, set of pipes, like I say, I can fucking, I'll have an endless supply of uh, cans, slip on cans, so we'll do that. So, yeah, so we're going to have a do with that, my 1200 and my Thunder Aces, I've just had them running, I didn't want to show you them because I do that every time, and then, uh, that's one of my subscribers there. Fucking about with his trial bike. <laughs> Dave, fuck's sake, man. Just trodden on Dave's foot. Right, I'll be back soon. Right. So that's the electrics off. So one of the things I'm gonna do is check all the loom. And we're getting down to the, uh, I'm gonna take the cables off. Stuff like that. Look how mucky that is. That ain't being cleaned for fucking yonks, has it? So, I'm going to take all the radiator off, take the subframe off. Uh, in fact, I'll take the subframe off next. Now, well, we've now got the uh, subframe off, which has exposed everything a bit more so I can get to it a bit easy to clean it. It's all down there. So I'll take this shitty can off. Um, take the cables off for the carb. Pull it to the carbs off. And then uh, take that fucking little silly ogre off. And then I can start cleaning then. Right, I've now got the carbs off. Uh, they were full of petrol. So I've drained them. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, obviously I'll take that fucking handle, that throttle thing off. Uh, I'm going to take this out, take this off, take the end can off and then uh, empty the water and take the radiator off then. Right, we're getting a big box of bits now. Radiator's off. Snap two bolts getting everything off. So one bolt is there for the radiator and the other bolt was also there for the radiator. At least it's a bit fucking sticking out so I should be able to get that off. Um, so to get this expansion bottle off, so the expansion bottle, let me show you. That 
was underneath the shock. So all I did was got the trolley jack underneath, undid that, pulled the shock out and it lifted straight off then. So now we're down to the bare bones. I can now start cleaning. I mean, look at the state of that. That water pipe there, look. Rusty as out, isn't it? Oh, and I now know why the uh, cables, the throttle cables, seemed a bit tight. It's because the bar's bent. It's like a fucking banana. So that's why the throttle cables were tight. Anyway. So yeah, it's uh, pretty filthy. Um, but at least now we can start cleaning it, which is a good do. But I don't know where all the, um, I'm sure I filled this with water and fucking hardly any came out. I don't know where the hell the water's gone to. I hope it inside the fucking engine, to be honest with you. Because that... <clears throat> Anyway, I can check that. Oops. Right, so... I'm now going to give it a clean, I think. A bit of a wash. And then... Uh... Oh, look at that. I don't know if that's... Has this been repaired? Or is that what it actually is like? From Honda? God knows. Do they make the swinging arm in two halves? and then weld it together. Anyway, uh, right, I'm gonna wheel it over there, go get some water and give it a right good wash. Right, I got backache now, but all I've done is just give it a quick wash over with some soap and water. So I haven't used the degreaser yet or the uh, aluminium cleaner, but uh, Just tried to get most of the shit off it to be honest with you. So I'm just going to leave it out here in the sun for five minutes while I put that lot away and I'm a foam then because I'm knackered. Um, so yeah. So that's it guys. The piece of shit is being reincarnated. Um, so the bloke on eBay who fucking blobbed on the deal, it's probably done me a favour actually, uh, as Neil said. Neil's the one who was riding the trail bike at the beginning of the video. Because um, if I clean it up and fettle it up, okay, I'll get even more money for it. So, but it does need a lot of cleaning, I must admit. Um, and the head bearings, you know, all the swinging arm bearings, they'll need doing stuff. Depends how far I want to go with it, doesn't it? Um, but anyway, I think the main thing, to be honest with you, is to give it a clean, get the wiring loom sorted and just see if it'll start um, and that's what I tried to do last time but last time it was just you know I just didn't go down this far I just stuck a battery on it basically and put a few new bits on and that was it so I need to do that don't I um, and just see what the crack is so but obviously it does need a clean and, and I need to get this back tyre sorted I, I don't know if it's, it's obviously got a puncture um, just to make it easy to wheel about it's a bit of a pain to wheel about and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a paddock stand for it and I can work on it a bit easier then but uh, so that's it guys I'll just leave it in the sun for a bit just to dry off and then like I say I'm going to put everything away put it in the shed and uh, jobs are good on. So we shall uh, see you soon.